What's up guys, Mike here, Modern Man TV. Welcome back to my channel for an all new product review. In this video, I'm actually going to be taking a break from the hair products and starting what I hope will be the first of many tech segments. For this video, I am teaming up with Cooper Coolers to bring you a full review on their rapid beverage cooling system. What it does is it allows you to take warm beverages and chill them on demand. So you never have to wait for your sodas to get cold or your wine to chill before you serve it or you enjoy it on your own. We're gonna be taking a look at the full components of this system. I'm gonna break it down and show you guys how it works. And then we're gonna be putting it through two different surface temperature tests so that I can demonstrate for you how awesome this product actually is. Also, you may want to stick around to the end of this video because Cooper Cooler and my channel are going to be giving away five total prizes, including a Cooper Cooler rapid cooling system to five different lucky subscribers. Let's take a look at the Cooper Cooler rapid cooling system. Here we see the unit itself complete with the reservoir that holds the beverage and the button display on the front. The buttons represent a setting specifically targeted towards the beverage you are chilling to ensure they reach that perfect temperature. We have cans, bottles, and even a wine setting complete with an extra cooling option and a no spin option for drinks that shouldn't be spun. How this system works is water is pulled through the reservoir into a pump that is then sprayed onto your beverage. And as the cold water is pouring onto it, the system then spins the drink to ensure even cooling. The lid also has a removable end cap to allow for wine bottles to be placed into the rack. To get the system going, all you need is about two tall glasses of water and about two cups or two small bowls in this case of ice cubes. You want to dump both water and ice into the bottom of the reservoir and then you're ready to go. Now Cooper Cooler does want you to make sure that if you do get this system you do not leave water in the bottom of the reservoir overnight. So what I do is I pour it out and I let it air dry before stowing it away in a cabinet. Next you're going to want to take your soda can and place it onto the rack with the cap facing you and making sure that the soda can is all the way in the back. Then all you need to do is hit the can button and start and it's ready to go. This whole spin cycle process will take about a minute or less. Here is a look inside the cooler so you guys can get a first hand look at how it chills beverages. The next big thing I want to mention about this system is that even though it spins your soda, it actually doesn't lose any carbonation, so it doesn't explode when you open it. As you can see here, it's still fully carbonated and it's cold and ready to drink. So we have seen how this system works. Now we're going to put it to the test by actually doing a temperature test. So here I'm going to start by taking a surface temperature reading of this can of Mountain Dew and then we are going to put it through the cooling system and check and see what the temperature is when it comes out. Okay, so it can cool a can of soda, but can it cool a bottle of wine? In this case, I have a bottle of mead from a local brewer here in Nebraska, and I'm going to see if this thing can actually chill this bottle of mead. I would also like to point out that the cooling cycle for a bottle of wine or mead in this case is quite a bit longer than that for soda. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I had a great time testing out this product and shooting the footage for you. I do want to add in there that using cold water really makes a difference in the cooling system. With the can of soda, the test showed that I was able to get it into the upper 50s according to the temp, but I did find that I was able to get it even colder, like high to low 40s using 
different temperatures of water. Before we get to this giveaway, I wanna say a quick thank you to Cooper Cooler for sending me the unit to test out and working with me on this review. They are also the sponsors of today's giveaway, so a huge thank you to them. Speaking of the giveaway, we're so close to 4,000 subscribers. We got less than 100 in order to get there. So make sure you're sharing this video with your friends. And as always, in order to participate in this giveaway, you're going to need to be a subscriber. You're gonna to need to like this video and you're gonna to need to comment down below where you're watching from. The prizes for this giveaway will be four t-shirts courtesy of Cooper Cooler given to four different subscribers that I will choose in the comment section down below. And I will actually choose a fifth subscriber in the comment section down below to receive a free Cooper Cooler rapid cooling system. Unfortunately, this giveaway is only open to US residents. That's just how it had to be for this one. I am going to be doing some worldwide giveaways as we get closer and past 4,000 subscribers. I wanna thank you guys for checking out this video. Remember to share with your friends and I will be back with you guys very soon with another very special hair product review. Catch you guys next time.